What's going on Neon Nation? Welcome back to the Neon Arcade for some Cyberpunk 2077 and Cyberpunk content. Today we're talking about all the dangers in the treacherous world of Night City. These are some of the people, places, and things you have to be incredibly wary of because they are each in itself uniquely deadly. From drugs and brain dance to mega corporations to issues with cyberware and cyber psychos, you always have to watch your back on the streets of Night City. First up, we have some of the drugs and substances that are peddled in the Night City streets. The futuristic drugs in cyberpunk are all designed to be addictive and are all toxic by nature. While drugs like synth coke, a futuristic variant of cocaine, are present in the world of Night City, this is the bottom of the ladder when it comes to lethality and detrimental side effects. Smash is a cyberpunk equivalent to alcohol and is yellow and foamy, comes in cans, and has many of the same effects as our modern day liquor. Giggly, loose and happy, turns to psychological addiction, thoughts of suicide and catanonia, which reduces you to intense bouts of pain. At the top of the spectrum are drugs like Dwarf and Black Lace. Both heavy combat drugs are designed by the military to create bloodthirsty killing machines and they can wreak havoc on the body and the psyche of the user. Dwarf is a painkiller which counteracts the effects of stress, pain and stun or shock effects. The cost is in permanent damage to the nervous system which cripples you over time. Black Lace is a high powered version of Dwarf and gives the user invulnerability to pain, adrenal rush, and an increased level of poise and composure under stress. Lace makes you an emotionless killer and was designed for just that. If you resist the addictive properties, the drug eats away at your humanity and you start to develop cyberpsychosis. Braindance is a futuristic form of VR entertainment and can also have debilitating effects on your life as well. The addiction to these sensory experiences is so powerful that users forget about their reality and spend increasingly amounts of time living out their wildest fantasies within a brain dance recording. Feeling all of the sensations of that particular recording, the user's brain develops addiction very fast. Next we have cyberware and issues with augmenting the body using a ripper dock. Choosing the right ripper dock is as important as choosing the right type of cybernetic. Illegal ripper docks have dodgy morals and business practices, and lesser known ripper docks can botch procedures. Things like cyber rejection, infection, scarring, and operation failure exist in the world of installing cybernetics and is a risk you might have to take when 2077 rolls around. EMP type damage can also short circuit cybernetics, and EMP damage is one of the four types in 2077. Another big danger involved in cyberware and cybernetics is the potential to install too much. By installing too much, you start to lose your humanity and are at risk of becoming cyberpsychotic. Cyberpsychos have little to no control of their being and generally turn into murderous, overly augmented individuals. Try to avoid cyberpsychos at all costs, especially if you're underleveled and geared. Next we have the net and just how dangerous it is to be a netrunner. Netrunning is a way of plugging into a 3D interface using a cyber modem and using your digitally assembled icon to traverse cyberspace. Netrunning is usually meant as a way to expose and divulge government and corporate secrets by breaking into heavily firewalled data fortresses to steal these secrets. The deadly part of the net is that it's chock full of hostile netrunners, demon series programs, and cyber assassins present in the net that patrol their specific online area. Flatlines, poison flatlines, crash, and the hound series of programs are all used in anti-system or seek and destroy uses and are meant to eliminate and fry personal cyber modems and decks. Heftier viruses like Black Ice and Soul Killer programs are much more devastating and can leave your consciousness trapped floating in cyberspace as your body back in the real world decays. Next we have the gangs of Night City. From booster gangs who are heavily modified, to chromers who love chromatic rock, to combat gangs and street warriors, to netrunner gangs who prowl cyberspace together, Night City has very small safe havens where gangs are not a dominating force. Some of the deadliest gangs in Night City are ones who are on the edge of cyberpsychosis after augmenting themselves too much. The Bozos, a group of killer clowns, have biosculpted their bodies to look like clowns and murder people for their own entertainment. They enjoy torturing people and playing on their anxieties. As a sadistic prankster gang, outright killing of victims is largely unfun for them and they have to toy with their victims first. They are packed with cyberware and have a large net presence. The Maelstrom are a combat gang, reliant on pain suppressors, reflex boosters, and street modifications, including the Red Eye Front Optic Mount. Their hunger for the latest tech has led them to outright attack the most prolific mega corporations, soldiers, and solos to get the latest and greatest cyberware by force, and these altercations usually end in a bloodbath. 
In the gameplay demo, Royce and his goons hit a Militech convoy and obtain high-tech gear including the Spiderbot. The Brainiacs are a thinking man's booster gang and prefer skill chips over clumsier cybernetics. Some of their members are so advanced that they're essentially walking supercomputers almost in the grip of cerebral cyberpsychosis. They will always outsmart opponents and concoct elaborate schemes, traps, and plans to outwit their enemies. The Slaughterhouse is one of the worst, if not the worst, gangs you can come across in Night City. They specialize in any body modification that is sharp like rippers and vampires. They will kill at a moment's notice and will freely commit a multitude of crimes in the city. A membership into the Slaughterhouse requires the member to pack as many blades onto one's body as possible. Finally, we have the Mega Corporations. In the world of Cyberpunk 2077, these corporations are the law and they call the shots no matter what district you're in. They aim to get ahead by any means necessary and routinely use methods of sabotage, bribery, blackmail, and assassination. Manufacturing, tech, agricorps, and media corporations are the most powerful in the world of Cyberpunk. Militech, Arasaka, Biotechnica, and Media 54 News are some of the strongest mega corporations with the dodgiest morals. They will bleed the world dry just to make an extra buck or two. Corporations like Militech and Arasaka are valued at over 400 billion euro dollars and are not to be messed with. Taking down a mega corporation is the equivalent to killing 50 kings. Thanks for watching guys and for everything and anything Cyberpunk 2077, remember to subscribe to the Neon Arcade.